Hi YouTube, today we're going to look at the Pacific Eagle uh, Razor XP1000 and then the 2015 and up Razor 900 models. This is the upper door enclosure. Uh, they call it their soft modular doors. So right here we've got the passenger side, driver's side, um, that's some Velcro. Uh, I've also got the Lexan rear window. It's got the dual vents in it, which is what these are here. Uh, we'll be installing that. And then this piece is a piece of ABS plastic with some uh, weather stripping on it. That will be going in the bottom there. Um, so what we're going to start with first is the back panel. Um, it's going to take one, two, three, four, the harness bolts out. We'll put the back panel in and then we'll get that loosely installed. Um, and from there what we'll do is we'll go to the modular doors. We'll get those on um, and I'll kind of show you the steps of the way and how to get it on there. Okay, I've got the back ABS panel on uh, and I just did a slight modification uh, to get the harnesses the way I wanted them in. They include hardware, uh, but I already had some larger grade 8 bolts that I could um, go ahead and use with lock nuts. So I went ahead and used that. Um, they do, Like I said, they do include hardware, it's bolts and lock nuts, uh, but I wanted something a little thicker so I modified the holes. Um, so this will look a little bit different than what you normally see. Uh, but then what we're going to do next is take the Lexan panel and get it put over there. Uh, we're going to get the hardware here. And what we're going to want to do is use the clamps. These are inch and three quarter clamps. And they're going to go right around your roll cage like that. And the flat part is what goes to the Lexan panel. Okay, now to secure the, the panel, uh, I just got it laid in place. And then I've peeled back this layer and the front layer just enough to where I can access the holes. Um, the reason you want to not pull the whole thing off is because you'll end up scratching your legs and moving it around. Um, but you get these neoprene washers. It's got a metal backing on it. And you'll want to slide them through like that. That way the neoprene's against the leg and it won't scratch it. And it's going to go... The clamp up. It's going to go through the clamp from this side um, and through and I'll show you what it looks like when I get a free hand here for the video. Okay, now I've got all the um, inch and three quarter clamps on. And like I said, make sure you use the neoprene washers here on the outside so the neoprene's up against the Lexan. Um, these are 11 millimeter hex heads and these are 11 millimeter lock nuts. Um, so just use a standard flat washer and a lock nut on the side of it, which is all included. Um, and snug those up. We'll have a total of five clamps, one on the top. Uh, it'll keep the whole panel from dropping down. Um, and then this is a vented panel. Uh, so it just slides like that to let air in and out. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we got those snugged up. Uh, we got the ABS snugged up. Like I said, it goes, the windshield's actually going to go over the ABS um, right there. Then the harnesses are mounted in, inside the cab on the ABS. Uh, so the next part will be the upper doors. Uh, we'll get the driver and passenger side on and we'll, I'll walk you through that as well. Okay, so for the upper doors, uh, everything is going to be Velcro based. Um, so there's going to be a whole lot of spots that we've got to get strips prepared for. And they send you it in this big roll. And then they kind of break down along the way where everything needs to go. And I, I know it looks like a lot, but it's not that bad. So they give you indicators which are letter based. And they're also there. Now the cool thing is, Give me just a second, I'll unravel this Velcro and show you. The thing about this is they've taken the work out of it and done it for you. So that's a 32 inch piece, another 32 inch piece, 28, so on and so forth. So you'll see a lot of lines in there. They've pre-marked them and all you have to do is take some scissors and cut them out. And then you'll have your strips ready uh, and it gives you the length that you'll need. So I just cut all the Velcro strips. Um, I've got them grouped up just by size. 28 inch and 32 inch are over here, uh, eight and a half inch, seven and a half. We're gonna have a several six inch pieces, three inch and some five inch, as well as some 15s. So what you do, um, they've got the instructions there, but I'm gonna walk you through it. Like I said, you'll just match up the letters and the strip size to the location on the razor. And you're gonna wanna actually go over to your panels, just to verify you know, that your Velcro locations match up what you think you're seeing. 
Okay, so after I've gone through and doing all the install, I just kind of wanted to give you an overview of how everything fits up together. I really didn't want to go through and show you all the, the Velcro cutting just because it would get tedious. Um, but it fits good. So as you can see, it's kind of overall, it's got a, a good shape to it as well. Uh, I did not actually go to a T by the instructions, and that's purely based on personal preference. Um, it would have called for some Velcro here, which this would have come down, and then also some Velcro strips on the door. Uh, the trouble I had is that where I'm at here in the Midwest, it's actually not warm enough uh, for the adhesive on that Velcro to seat really well. So I was having to use a heat gun um, on the roll bars to get to get the adhesive on here to sit really well, and, and it did, and it holds well. Uh, but the one I was having trouble with here uh, was partially due to weather, and then also because I used uh, kind of the silicone shines, like your SE1 and stuff like that. So it wasn't wanting to stick to it especially well. Uh, so what I did is I went with uh, just some push pins, uh, just like you'd find basically anywhere on the razor, and I used those instead. And I did five of them on each door, like that. And then with my color scheme, it's got this black stripe comes all the way down so I actually put the hole in that and then when it's not on I'll just cap those holes with these and ride with them that way uh, but for my preference that's what I did uh, you can certainly use the velcro and it should hold just fine uh, but I wanted to kind of call out what I did there uh, the zippers work well I have had a single ride on this I wanted to wait and get my feedback after I had a ride and it did awesome um, I actually had the velcro on and, and it did fine that night uh, one side did come off when somebody had pulled on the door but, or on the enclosure, but can't really fault the enclosure for that. I figured I'd go ahead and give you an idea of what it looks like from the inside of the cab. Uh, you got good visibility out the sides, and then since these windows come all the way back, you don't have any, you know, it doesn't cut off your vision at all. That's good on the passenger side also. And then when you want to get out, you process and the enclosure swings open with the door. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would recommend these, especially for the price point. I think this is uh, around 325 to 350 It just depends on what options you get and whether or not you get the zip open window, um, which is this part here. Uh, I think that's another 29 or 30 I'm not sure what it is. Um, but overall, yeah, I mean, it fits great. Um, how you install it would be completely up to you. Like I said, I did modification. I didn't go with Velcro there. I just zip tied around that, tied some holes, and did push pins on it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, be sure to go check out Pacific Eagle UTV's website. It'll be in the description uh, below this video. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button.